Welcome ladies and gents, my name is Byronic and I am playing Star Citizen. Well, I, at least I'm in the hangar. This is a completely impromptu, informal, uh, quick video. I'm gonna go over the changes of the constellation. The constellation Andromeda, this is the base version and this is right out of GamesCon 2014. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. So today we got two new variants. They just showed up, the, uh, we already knew the names, the Taurus, the Aquila, the Andromeda, and the Phoenix. The Andromeda is the base version, it's still considered a multi-purpose, while the others have a focus in exploration, trade, and luxury. So let's go ahead and take a look at this, right off the bat, look at this turret. The turret has changed quite a bit, wait shit, that's not the turret. That's the P-52! Well, you know what, it's kind of like a turret, but with wings, you see? This is basically the new P-52 uh, launch bay. Uh, I'm really happy they put it on the outside rather than keeping it on the inside. It, 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 it created a lot of room that they could use for additional things inside, and we'll, 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 I'll show you what, exactly what they did with it. So let's go and take a quick look around. A lot of the things seem to be scaling changes that they've done. Um, the engines do look a little bit bigger. Uh, to me. Some of it may just be uh, that this is new, that it looks different, and I haven't checked it out in a while, but I'm pretty sure they look a little bit bigger. The neck of the ship has grown. Um, that much is obvious. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at the front from the outside. Now, I want to go ahead and make it clear that a lot of the objects in the constellation itself don't work anymore. The, 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 the pilot seats, the navigation, the weapons chair, those things don't really work, and they're known bugs. And one of the other things, if you try to enter the turrets, well, it kind of ports you into uh, Oblivion, and you can't get out, and I have to restart. Uh, I, I've had to restart Arena Commander probably five times trying to get this to work. Uh, it, if you go right in front of it, and you have the option to actually press this, it actually puts you in the chair below, okay? And it gets you stuck down there with no option to get out. There's no other buttons that you can press, and I'm just not gonna risk it for now. But there have been changes. Um, they all look quite wonderful. If you take a look right here, they've created a shiny gloss with the base of the chairs and the chairs themselves. Uh, you can't actually get inside them. There's no option. I've been around these things for about five minutes trying to get them to work, but you know what? That's perfectly fine. You guys have seen the constellation before. Uh, these are just the update, uh, updates and changes that they've done since the last time we saw a new iteration of this. So right here, it's the same exact thing as before. They still have the kitchen table. You can still sit down. However, if you sit down, you are stuck there permanently to forever eat. You can't do anything else. Uh, and you have to basically wait until you restart the game to get out of it. So I'm not going to sit down there. But as you can see, they did some lighting changes. Something tells me the lighting's not quite done. But uh, they also did some kind of grime uh, cover. If you take a look there, there's a lot of uh, scratches, marks, especially right there. They're, they're making it look for this rusted look. Like, this thing has been through some travels. Now, how do I open this? Okay, here we go. This is what my luxurious bathroom has turned into. This, this, this thing that we call a toilet. No, no, I'm not even going to sit on you. It's probably broken. <laughs> I don't even want to sit on that, even if it was perfect. It's not my toilet, and I'm really disappointed. Um, so, again, these beds work just fine. They added in um, some of these new systems, and they don't all open from a single button. You actually individually open these up. Let me make sure. I just saw it right there a second ago. Maybe that's to probably get into the top one. I don't want to mess with it. I don't want to accidentally get stuck in these. You guys have been in beds before. This is just a small version, uh, and you've already seen that before, probably. So let's go ahead and look at the thing that everybody has been most excited about. Where the P-52 storage came from. Look at all of this space. We actually have space in here now, and this is great. This is absolutely wonderful. This is where our cargo hold will be. This is where we can have... Uh, our all-terrain vehicle that we saw at the GamesCon uh, press release. And I'll be putting together a video of all of those videos that we saw there, including the live stream. You'll probably see the live stream first from me. So let's, uh, uh, I'm not entirely sure how to actually... Okay, click in the middle of nowhere, and we have a working cargo hold. This allows us to load, unload supplies, put vehicles on this thing. I'm actually shocked that they got this thing working uh, like, thi like this. I didn't really expect it as much because they've said before that loading cargo isn't just a matter of clicking 
a different buttons and having those resources automatically deployed, it's a matter of you physically moving things. And while that may seem uh, tedious, I mean, this is a space sim, and sometimes those tedious things do give way to the, uh, you know, the realism of the game. I'm talking about realism. How do I climb stairs? It's not, it's not working, guys. I don't know. Maybe those stairs are broken. Let's go try to use these. Can I? Can I please? Am I stuck in here forever? Oh, God. Okay, well, it seems that those stairs are uh, not working. And actually, can I get this thing down? <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. Wait. That really wasn't how it was supposed to work. But you know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. You know, I'm not one to complain. So, it, obviously, things are not all working in here now. They just added these in. Uh, actually, right off the bat, the Phoenix, the luxury vehicle, wasn't working. Pure. It just shoved me off the side. It just shoved me off the side. How rude. We need to get this relationship under control because, I'll tell you, this, this constellation is going to do what I tell her. Not the other way around. Not like my real life where my girlfriend bosses me and tells me everything that I have to do. So, I need to have some room. Alright, so let's go ahead and run past this real quick so we don't fall into the pit. Okay, we're good. Guys, we did a good job there. So, they did make it a little bit more rustic. I, I did enjoy some of the interior of the old design, but the functionality of this, like form over function, right? I think that that's probably better. So, let's go ahead and look at the final back room. Uh, so, if you take a look here... It looks like we've got some of the engines, perhaps part of the uh, the jump drives, because this 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 thing does come default with a jump drive. This to me looks like some kind of reactor. Uh, no step. Well, guess what? I'm a rebel, so uh, fight the system, guys. Um, it's if you guys look at these, these kind of look like. I mean, honestly, I work with servers every day. These kind of look like a futuristic server cluster. They're probably something to do with shields. Everything here is probably reactor shields engine. Uh, what does that say? Caution: multiple exit supports. 213 record, okay, blah, 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 some spacey stuff, okay, I don't think we can click anything in here, nothing in here really works, and I'm not too surprised, to be honest, but yeah, that's, that's the basic outline of this ship, and a lot of the changes they have made are impressive, having an actual engine room in your ship is important, and you know what, this is basically where the old bathroom was, so if I have to use a, basically a bucket, or hold it, I mean, I can hold it, I mean, you know, can you? So, I mean, th that's basically the improvements that they've made and the different changes. I think aesthetically, it doesn't look as good on the interior. Practically and function, like with, with function, it's better. I, I, I do think so. Um, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take one last look on the outside. It is a very pretty ship on the outside. Like I said, my aesthetics opi aesthetic opinion was based on the interior. But uh, this ship is amazing. The Constellation co commercial gave me shivers. That'll also be up on my channel with all the other trailers in one combination video at the same time. But uh, yeah, if you guys are looking to pick up the Constellation, would completely recommend. It's a beautiful ship. You can go get the variants. If you're looking to pick up the Phoenix, the luxury one, that's only available until Monday or until supplies last. Supplies and virtual items, not even to get into that topic, but there are 5,000, there's a, there is an arbitrary number on that. I do not think that the 5,000 is gonna run out by Monday, but hey, you know, if it does, that's just more money, more more stretch goals, and we're set. All right, guys, well, thank you very much for watching this. Um, I, I have not done a hangar video ever because it's completely oversaturated, but just because this is new, I figured I'd go ahead and show you guys one of my amazing ships. Uh, I, I'm, I, I'm not... I'm not forgetting you, Cutlass, or my uh, other, no, that's the only ship. My Banu Merchantman is unfortunately still in the repair shop, and I may be able to see that in the future. All right, guys, well, thank you very much for watching. I'll talk to you next time.